we do see a lot of different birds here. There are a core group of birds that stay here all year. The ones that we like are the migrants that usually come in end of April, beginning of May. You know, again, we can get up to 80 different species in, in a nice um, uh, spring morning walk. So please come and join us. There are also a lot of core birds that we see all the time that are regulars. And I think my uh, people next to me here will name a few of them, won't you guys? <laughs> yeah, the, the year-round residents like chickadees, nuthatches, titmice, um, robin, cardinals, cardinals woodpeckers. Yeah, yeah, various woodpeckers. Right, and and another thing that uh, I don't know if we should mention or not, that we can occasionally hand feed uh, birds along the trail, which is something that especially uh, the kids really enjoy. Uh, I still enjoy doing yeah, that. You, yeah. you're always doing Oh, it. I know. <laughs> we enjoy seeing the, the more rare birds, and especially in the spring when migration's coming through and when at any given morning, uh, anything is possible to see. And I know that, I uh, haven't seen them in a while, but the occasional, the, uh, the warbler hybrids. Yes. Um, help me out here, I'm sorry. The Lawrence's, Lawrence's and Brewsters. Right. I've not seen a, um, a Lawrence's, but I've seen Brewsters yeah. down here in the past. Uh, what did we just have uh, two two or three months ago, the rough-legged hawk, which we've never right. seen before. That's right. A rough-legged yeah. hawk that had, uh, they're up by the airport, right. and one of them happened to drift Came south, by. and we got a good look at them, yep. which was... Uh, we had trouble identifying yeah, it at we first because, what is this? This bird's never here. And sure enough, then we figured it out. But most of the birds we see, we know what they are because they're always here. So when we get our rare visitors, we, we have to you know look very carefully. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, things like the chickadees and titmice and nuthatches, I mean, those are common year-round. They're year-round residents. We might see 20, 30 of them. Sure. And, and that, I'm sure we haven't seen them all, so they're right. quite common. But I remember seeing one a few years ago uh, in the spring, during the spring migration, the worm-eating warbler. Oh. And, and as far as I know, that, that is the only one. That, that we had down here. That we've had down here. In all so, the years we've been down here, that's right. Yeah, all, so that's... One and only time. Yeah, that's the contrast that you have between those right. rare birds that you might see once in a lifetime. Right. And things like the chickadees and titmice sure. that you'll see a number of every, every single time. So. And I still look at that same place every time we walk by yeah. in the spring, hoping it comes back, but it's right. never been there. And, so. and, and also, not just uh, the types of the different types of birds, but uh, sometimes you see something exciting like a, uh, a red tailed hawk coming in and grabbing a, yeah. a gosling uh, out from under uh, the mother, um, which. Uh, was exciting for me, upsetting to others. <laughs> yes, obviously. yes. Um, and then also a few years back, we had a um, a barred owl fly and uh, grab a chipmunk and bring it back yep. to uh, its young, right along the trail. And we all got a good look at that. Right. So not rare birds, but common birds doing pretty neat things. Yes. And uh, that's always exciting as well. And last month we had a red-headed woodpecker fly over, which is kind of unusual. So right, that was we after were, you had it out. I know, oh, really? we had yeah, a red-headed right woodpecker the after. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs>